Well, on our screen, uh, you see that breaking news. Governor Akre Dulu of Undo State is dead. Arise News has confirmed from family sources that Governor Rutimi Akre Dulu is dead. Our condolences uh, to the people of Undo State and members of his family. The Undo governor died at the age of 67. Mm. Wow, really sad news this morning. And um, he'd fought long and hard, and we talked about a prolonged illness. And it's sad to see that, unfortunately, he's lost this battle. Um, he'd pr uh, proceeded on medical leave and had handed over to his deputy just a few weeks back. And to hear now that he's passed on is truly sad. He was a great leader of Ondo State in his second term in office and had served the people of Ondo State um, quite diligently, despite being plagued by his ill health, particularly towards the end of his uh, tenure as governor of Ondo State. We commiserate with the good people of Ondo State, his wife, of 42 years or over 42 years, his children and grandchildren. I mean, uh, Aketi is God, as it was formerly called. Uh, God rest his soul. Uh, during our interventions as regards the political situation that erupted in Undo State between him and his deputy governor, even when we condemned the actions of some people trying to keep him up despite his health, we constantly prayed for his quick recovery. Is it that God doesn't answer prayer? No. It's not that God does not answer prayer. God answers prayers, but it was time for Akiti to go. He had fought the good fight. He had fought this for a while. A couple of months, in fact, they had carried the story that he was dead. But now, you know, and he came back and he fought cancer even more. Got a chance to meet him once. Uh, man beat me with a lot of smiles and a lot of ideas. Made his own mistakes in life. We're all prone to make their, our own mistakes. In fact, it is the fallibility of humanity that makes us human beings. And I'm sure he could have done some things a whole lot better. But now, Akiri Dulu has joined the immortals. And the people of Undo will mourn his passing. The baton of leadership definitely, officially, will have to move to Aedatiwa. And for all those that think to hold on to things too much in life, the passing of Akira Dulu has just restated the transience of life itself. One minute you're here, the next minute you are no longer here. So it's needless to think you own anything in life because life really is truly for rent. None of us can buy it. None of us truly own it. Akira Dolo has run his race. It's left for you to run yours and think. Well, uh, Governor of Fundo State, uh, Rutimi Akira Dolo, 21st July 1956 to 27th December 2023, when nobody lives forever. And again, it may be said of him that in the short span of 67 years, he was able to make a difference. Um, he attended uh, Loyola College, Akunas College, Comprehensive uh, High School, Ayetoro, then proceeded to the University of Ife, which is now known as Obafemi Awolowo University, where he studied law and graduated in 1977. He was called to the Nigerian Bar in 1978, and he went into legal practice, rising uh, to the uh, rank of uh, a senior advocate of Nigeria. Uh, he served in the state as uh, Attorney General and uh, Commissioner for Justice. Uh, this was uh, 97 to uh, 99. He would later rise to become the president of the uh, Nigerian Bar Association from about 2010 to 2012. As a politician, he was a member of the Action Congress of Nigeria and later on the All uh, Progressives uh, Congress, uh, the APC. One of those persons who moved from practice, from in uh, professionals, you know, into the arena of politics to be able to make a difference, either at the level of the commissioner or as, uh, as a governor. He was a very vocal president of the Nigerian Bar Association uh, who tried to keep the authorities on their toes. And as governor, he adopted a simple style. You know, it was called Arakwain. Arakwain means, uh, you know, Mr. or Gentleman. 
and his friends popularly refer to him as uh, Akete. But like all human beings, you know, we have no control over, you know, the future. So he came down with uh, leukemia. Leukemia is generally described as cancer of the blood. And as you said, you know, he fought long and hard. Uh, but now that he has passed, we uh, commiserate with his family, with the people of Ondo State, and the legal community in Nigeria, which is served as uh, president of the Nigerian Bar Association. And we hope uh, that as Ondo State moves forward, you know, the appropriate lessons will be learned uh, from his example and the leadership that he provided and the legacy that he has been able to leave behind. May so rest in peace.